A highway in Lafargeville has been renamed in honor of fallen firefighter Peyton Morse. To celebrate the dedication, a ceremony was held earlier today. With more, here's 7 News reporter Chad Charette. Crowds gathered and a flag was raised high to honor fallen firefighter Peyton Morse. He was a kind neighbor, a dedicated soulmate, a team player, a community volunteer, a gentleman, and obviously he was a firefighter. A stretch of State Route 180 running through Peyton's hometown of Lafargeville officially became the Peyton S. Morse Memorial Highway on Saturday. <laughs> Assemblyman Scott Gray says Morse can serve as an example of the virtue all firefighters should exhibit. It symbolizes the unity of our community, the recognition of their indispensable role in our society. It stands as a testament to the strength and character of Peyton Morse. Morse suffered a medical emergency while training at the New York State Academy of Fire Science in Montour Falls in March of 2021. He died nine days later. Peyton was trained to become a full-time firefighter for the Watertown Fire Department. Watertown Fire Chief Matt Timmerman says this dedication will help the local community remember the great man Peyton was. It is a lasting memorial to him and something that uh, his friends and family will see for the rest of their lives. Timmerman says, however, there's still work to be done into the investigation of Peyton's death. Morse's parents sued the state earlier this year, and the case is still in the courts. We continue to, to push uh, the Office of Fire Prevention Control to be accountable for what happened that day. And... Uh, that's, that's enough to keep anybody busy. So. Peyton's family is also grateful for the continued community support. We know this will cement Peyton's legacy. We are so thankful to so many. Um, so many communities have helped us get to this point, and we can't say thank you enough. Chad Charette, 7 News.